Paella is an internationally renowned dish whose main ingredient is rice. There are several kinds of paella, according to the ingredients that are used. Andalusian paella is a mixed paella because it has meat, fish, and shellfish, which make it a very tasty dish. We start cooking the Andalusian paella by cutting the vegetables and frying them in olive oil. We can add other vegetables like peas, artichoke hearts, etc. To cook it, we use a pot called a paella, from which this typical dish takes its name. It is a round frying pan, about 10 centimeters deep. If we do not have a paella, we can use a similar frying pan. The heat should reach the whole surface of the paella uniformly. We fry the garlic without browning it too much in oil that is not too hot. Subsequently, we add the beans to the garlic. We add the pepper first, and the tomato and onion a little later. While the vegetables are frying, we prepare the fish and the meat. We recommend sea bass, anglerfish, or hay. We have chosen the tail of an anglerfish. We cut the meat into medium-sized pieces. Pork or chicken can be used. We cut the squid in slices, being careful not to cook it too much so that it does not turn out chewy. When the beans are half cooked, we add the tomato and the onion, frying them in olive oil, but keeping the heat low. When the vegetables are ready, we add the fish, the meat, and the squid. We stir all the ingredients so that their juices combine to give our Andalusian paella a delicious flavor.
At this moment, we add the salt. Now we have the base of the paella, which we will leave a few minutes on medium heat, stirring it occasionally. To color it, we add saffron, or if we don't have any, artificial coloring. When the fish and the meat are half cooked, we add the broth that we've prepared. If we don't have broth, we dilute a tablet of meat concentrate in hot water keeping in mind that the quantity of liquid should be twice that of the rice. For example, if we add a cup of rice for two people, we should pour in two cups of broth. Again, we distribute well all the ingredients and we leave them at medium heat for about five minutes or so. When we add the rice, we must try to distribute it throughout the paella so that it cooks uniformly. The right type of rice for paella is the small round grain, which absorbs flavors best. It should be cooked properly, neither hard nor soft. We raise the heat and we leave it there for 12 minutes. Once this time has elapsed, we add large prawns shrimp, cigalas, or similar shellfish can be used too. We arrange the previously stewed mussels symmetrically to add a nice flourish at the end. We leave the paella on medium heat for another six minutes. When the rice is ready, we take the paella off the heat. It's best to let the rice settle for five minutes before serving. 